questions of today are what is the meaning of harmonious leadership to you what does it take to live in harmony with nature and with respect for future generations and what is the relevance of the earth charter to you our relation to mother earth is essential and we have really forgotten how to do it so that's why i'm so interested in earth charter because earth charter is about what the United Nations have done. The United Nations was a good beginning. We created a foundation. But with the Earth Charter, we have a chance to become related to each other. Harmonious society consists of three um, different harmonies. One is harmony between people. The second is harmony between people and the planet. And the third is, if we do that well, and we achieve those two harmonies, we will be in harmony with the cosmic path. When you look at where we are today, um, we have moved far away from these different harmonies. And my understanding of leadership is uh, that in order to make the planet and all life on it, whole again, you need to become yourself whole again. What I want to do, or what I do in my job, is that I, 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 I try to help and figure out, at least in a five-year time horizon, five to ten-year time horizon, help to make right decisions in a company. Make it not acceptable that a board just exists of, you know, today, of boards of companies, organizations, um, political bodies, exists of people of a certain age, certain background. And yes, there's more diversity in terms of, of gender nowadays, but there's very little other diversity if you look at it. And those things are very concrete steps that I think we can undertake and make things put in the checks and balances that enable harmonious leadership. In the future, I hope that people and companies can connect again to why they are here, connect to your heart again. And when you act from your heart, I think that leads to the beautiful future also that you just uh, described. What is the condition in order to trust each other? It means that we need to be aware that we're not alone. Aware that we have a community, that we are connected. So again, that's not something I can tell you. It's not something we can publish in a newspaper or a prime minister can declare like we have a unity. We can sing, of course, our anthem, but uh, it's not something that we can just organize. We have to build that. was planted by Ruth Lubbers. It was planted at the occasion of 15 years Earth Charter and then the slogan of the year was as it says here one Earth community one common destiny which is a fragment from the Earth Charter and I would like to invite Jos and Aganga because they will lead us in the ceremony to honor the tree and to honor Ruth Lubbers.
are so grateful for your father who planted the tree. He led the way for us to be able to go to the next level in our reality. I honor your father and your family and pray that you yourself, the two of you and the rest of your family, will be able to walk the path of your father to help all of us go to the next level. Without that, we will be lost in the world in which we live. And that we cannot afford. Op jou. En nu dan het echte boek. Ik hoop dat je uh, je vader daar ook in herkent. Uh, en voor wie dat voel jij ook wel in, in grote bewondering en respect daar staat. Dus er zijn er gedachten in dit boek en bij deze. Het is alweer uh, ruim vier maanden geleden dat, uh, dat, dat, dat mijn vader uh, is overleden. Uh, ik ben daar natuurlijk uh, triest over. Uh, maar ik voel ook energie, hè? ik voel energized en ik, dat merk ik ook een beetje bij u, dat het toch ook weer een opdracht is om zijn idealen uh, door te zetten. Uh, in, in, de, in de grote verscheidenheid die, die, die hij had en die ik terugvind uh, bij u allen hier. Het belangrijke element denk ik, van het boek is, wat je zou verwachten, dat dit boek eigenlijk wel gaat over het verleden. Wat is er allemaal gebeurd? Uh, maar als je het boek uit hebt, dan denk je, ja, het boek gaat niet over het verleden, het boek gaat vooral over de toekomst. Uh, wat, hè, welke opdracht uh, hebben wij als mensen om te zorgen dat langzamerhand een stukje beter, we beter voor elkaar zorgen en beter voor deze, deze aarde zorgen uh, waar we over waar we leven. Mooi, gaan we samen leven. Every decision that we take has to be good for seven generations ahead. In the beginning it was like a like an, an unbelievable concept. I mean, how can you think seven generations ahead? But the more I've thought over time, and the more I've spent with people, and not just Native Americans, but other indigenous people, that's real. That's real. They really think, they, f they not only think, they feel the generations ahead, and the generations back. Well, I'm up with you.